Hey guys, Clark Roman and ACSO Certified Personal Trainer here to show you a few body weight exercises that you can do on your own if you're in a time pinch and you don't really have a lot of time to do things or if you don't have any equipment. So we're just using a standard studio here. Um, you can do this literally anywhere outside uh, in your hotel room if you're traveling. This is something that requires zero equipment. Um, I will include a workout with it to show you kind of how I would structure it. But here are six exercises that you can do that every personal trainer is going to include with a body weight uh, workout is burpees. So for burpees, what you're going to do is go down into your standard plank position. From there, you go into a push-up. You hop your feet in, jump up on the top, and then you're going to go through that a little bit faster. So we'll go down, push up, up, jump, down, push up, up, jump. All right, the next exercise that we're going to do is pop squats. So what you're doing is you're kind of jumping down into a squat position. So squat position is kind of like right here. Now I'm putting my hands out because I'm not actually moving, so I don't have any weight to balance me out. But I won't do that for the actual exercise. So for pop squats, you're going to go down and out, up and in. So out position should be about a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. So right around in here. And we're going to keep our chest up, and we're going to kind of drop down and catch ourselves in the position. So down and out, up and in. All right, another exercise that I really love is reverse lunges. So I'm gonna shoot from the side knee, going back, just like this, alternating back and forth between the two. There are a couple of variations you can do with this. So what I'm actually turning it into for a little bit more plyometric, a little bit higher cardio, is the split lunges, or lunge jumps. Some people call these different things. So we're just jumping back and forth between the two, just like this. That would be kind of the version I would like to do. You can always do reverse lunges or if you want to, forward lunges as well. So any of these three. All right, a common mistake that most people make in the gym is they don't work laterally at all. So we're always moving forward, working forward, but we're not working side to side. So to counteract that, what we're gonna do is throw in our skaters. So you're jumping over, crossing in the back. Four inch if you can kind of touch the toe. And if you want to modify it a little bit, right here. So you can see I'm just kind of modifying the legs, modifying how I reach, and then the more advanced version would be wider. I'm going to show you three different variations of the push-up. So this is an exercise, but there's actually three different versions of it. So the variation that I really like to do is the staggered push-up. So you have a hand forward and a hand back, kind of like a lunge for your legs, but this is your arms. So you're going to go here, pushing just like this. You want to find a spot that's good and comfortable, so that's a little bit uncomfortable for me. I go a little bit wider. That's a lot better. And then what I would do is just mirror my hands. So go up here. We're doing the same thing. Now what that's going to do is just kind of change how it's working in your shoulders a little bit from the standard push-up. Another one that I really like to do is with my hands in, so we're going to do more of like a tricep push-up. Um, you want to have your hands in, maybe pointed just a little bit more, just like this. You can make it diamond, so diamond push-ups or what they use in insanity. So you want to keep it in here, right knee with the chest, push straight out. You're going to feel a completely different spot than that last stagger that I did, so it's going to be more in here for the chest, more your triceps. Uh, the other one that I like to do is a moving push-up, so you kind of walk side to side. All right, the final exercise I want to show you is very core specific. There's two variations of it, so a modification and a more advanced version. Uh, it's called the V-up. So the V-up is, in my opinion, way better than the sit-up because you're actually getting more of the abs involved. So you're working the upper, middle, and lower part of the abs. Um, so what you want to do here, the more advanced version, you're using both feet together. So arms and feet are going to meet in the middle. We're going to touch. We want to make sure to lift the shoulder blades off the ground and bring your feet up as well. So it looks more like this. So that's a version I do almost every day in my hour workouts. Then the other less advanced version, a little bit more of the beginner version, would be to go one foot at a time. So same thing, but it's a lot easier to figure out if you're a beginner. All right, so those are a few variations of my favorite exercises that I like to do if I don't have a lot of time.
time or if I'm traveling. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I can help you as much as possible with those exercises. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks.